Okay, so I went to record this video and between the wind and then uh, had my guys feeding hives in the back, it was just really noisy. So just decided I was going to do a voiceover. I mean, it is, after all, what I used to do for a living, which I'm sure shocks all of you. Anyway, just smoking the bees. Um, this is one of the most important things, I mean, to just know how to do I'm aiming, I'm just taking a burr comb off and everything so that I don't crush excess bees. But you're wanting to get to the middle frames that have open brood. Uh, that's really the key. I've got my alcohol there in that uh, little wash cup ready to go. I've got my tub ready to go. Um, we got a great deal on 80% alcohol. So I mean, it really doesn't matter if it's 70%, even 65%. Uh, you just want rubbing alcohol, which has gotten surprisingly expensive here in the last little while. So once again, just working my way to the uh, center frames, pulling one of the side frames out to give me some more room to to work them. Um, and here I got, I believe that's the brood frame with cat brood. Really love the way the queen cells uh, took that we used down in uh, California. But looking for the queen, very, very important step. Look for the queen. You don't want to put her in the alcohol. Taking the tub over, and I'm going to just shake the bees in there, which gives you a secondary chance to uh, look for the queen, which is what I'm going to do and just kind of shift them around. The bees that you see flying out of the tub when you do it, don't worry about it. Those are the older bees that are gonna be prone to leave. And we're really wanting to test the younger bees. Now at this point, I didn't have my measuring cup, but this is where you'd use a half, half a cup size measuring cup. And you're gonna shake all the bees down to the corner of that tub and then just scoop a half a cup and uh, if you want to be really precise about it, which um, I highly encourage, you can actually count the bees afterwards to get a really good uh, dialed in mite count. Because what you're looking for, anything over one mite per hundred bees uh, is going to create viral issues in your hive. That's just how ridiculous it's gotten. So anyways, close the cap, got them in there. Uh, in this particular one, I didn't have the white cylinder strainer that goes into that, that uh, mite shaker. And so what I've, I've got a strainer off, off, the, uh, uh, off the bed of the trailer there that I use. And I'll show you something along those lines or, or do a video of that a little bit later. But wanting to shake it for 60 seconds vigorously. Uh, pretend that your life depends upon making butter the quickest you've ever made butter, something like that. But to uh, shake it for 60 seconds, and then with that white strainer, the bees obviously stay in the strainer, and uh, the mites fall to the bottom, and you're able to lift the cup up and see what uh, you know, see what your mite fall has been, as you can see in the picture here. Um, once again, roughly a half a cup of bees is 300 bees, so. Um, if you got six mites, you're averaging two mites per hundred bees and, you know, so on and so forth. If you count the amount of bees that are in there, then you obviously get a really <laughs> accurate uh, percentage of your mite count. But once again, anything over two mites per hundred bees at this point you want to treat. And obviously this picture indicates that this person has major, major issues. And I'd argue at that point with the way viral issues have become, if you see that many mites at the bottom, um, you probably are on a downward trajectory with your hive that you're not going to be able to reverse. So anyways, hopefully this was helpful and uh, we'll do another alcohol wash the way that I do it out in the field. Uh, this is a great way to do it as a hobbyist, as a sideliner, but in order for us to get we want to average anywhere from 5 to 10% of our colonies tested to give us an accurate picture of where we're at. And uh, in order to do that quickly, I'll show you the way that we do it. Anyways, thanks.